to check in on our weather with Aaron Mayoski, who's also keeping an eye on the forecast for the upcoming Seahawks game. Yeah, guys, it's going to be a, a decent uh, forecast. I think so far we'll be mostly dry as we get to Lumen Field as Arizona comes to town. Pre-game temperatures a little bit cool, 43 degrees, mostly cloudy skies. We'll keep with that theme as we go on through kickoff at 125, and we'll top out in the upper 40s around halftime. And we should keep most of the rain situation out of the stadium, but we will see as we get closer to the weekend and get that forecast for you. Just a fantastic look right now. This is uh, what the Emerald City is all about when you can see the mountains, the sound, Bainbridge, the downtown. It looks really pretty. Winds are out of the northwest at 7 miles an hour, and we're at 46 degrees is what we're cooling off to as we get going through this night. Folks to the north, south, east, and west of the downtown area doing much of the same. A little cooler in Everett at 41. Hello to you up in Bellingham and Whatcom County. Still struggling in Whatcom and Skagit counties with the flood situation up there. We'll check in on that in just a second. 42 for Friday Harbor and you jump the Cascades and you get cooler temperatures, especially across Snoqualmie Pass. We're in the 20s uh, there. Okay, so this is a look at the conditions right now as we go through. We're seeing the sky cover there pushing the cloud cover. We are dry, which is the good news that helps our situation as we look at our river stages. We are seeing some levels that are in the zones where we're near flood stage. We're at minor flood stage, moderate. We're still looking at Skagit in the major flooding stage, but everything is coming down. And so here's where our warnings are. This is through early Friday. This should lift, especially for the Skagit County area and the Skagit River. So this is the latest look at where it's uh, dropping down to. We're at 32.92 feet and you can see the trend and that is the trend we want to see and stay with. So as we get into Thursday, Friday and Saturday, we're going to get well below that action line, which is really nice and will be very helpful for people to start the cleanup there to get going. It's still going to be a mess. So mostly cloudy tonight and we'll stay mainly dry, cool and cloudy though for sure. Some of us in the upper 30s, we should sit right around 40 degrees. So a couple of degrees off in King and Snohomish counties up towards the north end will be cooler and about 36 degrees for Bellingham out along the coast. Might see a little spits of showers coming in early, but about 37 degrees there. Big picture with our satellite and radar shows us the Pacific and that we do have some opportunity to welcome in some more rain as we get into tomorrow. So we start out dry and then by mid morning, midday, the afternoon, we'll start to see those showers filter in. So here's a look at how we go through uh, tonight and all the way through Thursday morning at 5 a.m. You can start to see the leading edge of this on the northwest Washington coast. Doesn't really affect inland until about one o'clock in the north sound and the south sound. A few light showers for Seattle, but you can see what's coming our way as we push through the evening commute. Snow levels lowering. We'll get some snow in the mountains. So east to west travel on US 2 and Stevens and Snoqualmie Pass will be a little bit tough at times. You'll want to check in with us for sure. And then we get to Friday at 8 a.m. and everything starts to push to the east, which is good news. So tomorrow we'll call it mid to upper 40s from the north sound all the way down to the south sound with mostly cloudy skies and the rain coming in. The coast a little bit cooler and breezier at times. 50 degrees for the foothills, places like North Bend and 37 for your high with that snow level around 2,500 feet in the high country. All right, so the Cougs are at home in Martin Stadium this weekend, and we should see mainly dry conditions for them. But notice our temperatures just hang out below average in the mid to upper 40s. Our overnight slowly start to warm up, but we do drop down by Sunday, bringing back some rain Monday afternoon lingering to Tuesday. Looks like it should be dry for our Seattle Sounders.